Hello and welcome to Michael Michaels The Huddle Tournament Game 1, Round 1 The first game of the series of a very special tournament that we're here to bring you in lockdown level 4 Straight from Auckland to the epicentre of the outbreak itself <laughs> Anyway, to d today we have This is quite a big tournament actually, there's 8 people in the tournament and it's got a unique format, and this is just the first game. We have Jock, uh, you'll probably recognise Jock from the previous games, uh, playing as Jonk, he's in the blue, he's playing as the Goths, um, I believe, down the bottom, you can see here. And also a completely new face, Carlos, or Quark Wobble. Quark Wobble? Quark Wobble. Um, that's hard to say. Quark Wobble, he's over here, he's in the magenta, beautiful colour, uh, playing as the Ethiopians, a fantastic sieve as well. And um, they've just got one chance. In round one, you just got one game. It's just a simple Arabia game. You can see the map here. It's very open in the center. And basically, the, the gimmick of this tournament is that once you've hey, defeated your enemy, they join your team. And we'll see a little bit how much that uh, works in the later rounds. But for now, we can just kind of enjoy uh, this game between the Quark Wobble and jock and we have this wonderful capture age tool to make sure that we can see everything very very clearly and zoom in to the gory gory details here we can see the poor goat with a little bell uh being harvested by jonks villages right here so let's talk a little bit about the map as you can see the arabia has changed just a tad and it's got a lot more open space between the players and these little wood lines have been generated they're, they're, any wood line generated between the players is now removed and so it makes it a lot more open, a lot more harder to wall and looking at Jock's base right now, he's fortunate actually that he has a back wood line and a back gold quite close to each other. That's quite easy to protect, maybe a little a wall up here um, towards the town centre and then a wall over towards these berries and then maybe down to this wood line over here and that will give him a pretty safe space behind his town centre and he'll have access to gold in the castle edge. Not there yet though. On the other side of the map, kind of a similar story, but the problem with this wood line is that even if you wall between here and here and maybe down here back to the town centre, luring your boar, very very good to see Quark Robble. Someone knows how to play Age of Empires. I don't actually know anything about this guy um, yet. He is a, he's a wild card, but I've heard good things. Has some history playing Starcraft and has been learning the meta for Age of Empires. Almost getting Jock out underneath the town centre there, garrisoning his villages as he tries to get that boar. The boar comes in quite nicely underneath the town centre, very nicely placed. No boars in just yet for Jock. Oh, except for this terrible, terrible law off to the side. He'll be kicking himself for that. Look how long these villagers have to walk to get to that town centre. Poor Jonk. He is sending this villager out on a mission, however. And he does have loom, so we'll find out where this goes and how this develops. Very ambitious walls coming up from Quark Quabble and some early aggression of the scout from Jock. He's not wasting any time. He's not even in feudal age yet. He just wants to uh, figure out what's going. Both of these two players have the same amount of bills, 14 each. They haven't had any TCR's time, and here we go. Unless he dodges, no, no chance at all. That scout's going down, and instead we're going to have to rely on the sneak villager over here by Jonk. Now a sneak villager, always a fun play, always a, always a powerful move. What is she going to get up to? We've seen this in many pro games as well. Where the little sneak villager comes around the back and causes some mischief. So we'll see what Jock has in mind for her. Meanwhile, coming forward, Quark Wobble, or Carlos, is going to be getting his next boar. A single arrow and the boar gets very angry. He's going to run after that villager and he's just going to take it back towards the town centre. Lots of food eco there coming in. Nice and safe. Not going to lose a villager at all. Everything okay. But meanwhile, Jock on the left-hand side, sneaky barracks. And he's really gone out of his way with the villager here. And what I'm interested in is, yeah. is to know what she's going to do after this. Is she going to just walk all the way back? Or is she going to stay there and continue causing trouble? Maybe a tower rush or two. Back at Jock's base. No attempt at walling here. Uh, no attempt at keeping the eco safe. We do have our second boar in. A lot more neater than the previous one, but preferably this should be underneath the town centre. Um, 19 villages for both players. 
and we probably will be looking at going up to the Imperial Age soon. I might actually uh, take this moment to explain some of the UI we got around here. Here you can see uh, the number of villages that each person has. Uh, just went up to 20, and you can see it here as well, 20 villages, 20 villages. This here is how many idle villages they have at any time. Uh, quite handy, and you can see military units. So one scout for Carlos, uh, and Jock obviously lost his scout uh, to the town centre of Carlos just a moment ago. Coming in, trying to get a little bit of harass on these villagers, and there's a weak villager over here. She would have been lowering the boar, and if Carlos had just scouted her, he could have just come in and gone donk and she would be dead and that would put him in a head in the game but alas it's not to be this barracks not queuing up any militia just yet but we are quite heavy on the berries and these will last a long time and there will probably be villagers here still by the time that these uh, man at arms or militia or whatever it is jock has planned comes out of there the scout just trying to get some valuable intel um, we can actually check on the scouting of jock he obviously can't see it, but he's done a good job at scouting his enemy. He fought uh, Quackles over here at first, but then came down here and found the TC, much to his, his demise. Um, but uh, as far as uh, Quackles scouting goes, we can see he had a much uh, nicer time. He actually missed uh, Jock on the first pass through and thought he was on the side as well, and then he came back and ended up finding finding Jonk in the corner. So I think maybe both players are a little bit surprised to see they're closer than they were expecting. 25 villagers for Jock, 24 for Quark Wobble, and he's already on his way to Feudal Age. Jock just clicked up to Feudal Age now, a little bit later, a little bit slower on the uptake, but he does have an extra two villagers uh, to show for that. And those two villagers are currently working, pulling in food, pulling in gold, and that's going to mean that the feudal aggression that Jock is planning on, no doubt, is going to hit just a little bit stronger he is goths the, the good thing about the goth player is that these militia that he's making right now once they become man at arms as well they're going to be a lot cheaper and we have the single villager just cutting wood and this is a great use for her she's she's nearby in case she needs to put a tower down anywhere tricky but more importantly she's still busy she's still working and that's such an important little trick to make sure you do if you do send a forward villager um, don't just leave them standing around get them carrying wood lots of farms up for quark wobble and he's got the um, woody code to support that. Just hitting Feudal Age now. We're instantly dropping a barracks. And it looks like we're trying to see a fast castle build um, from Carlos's game. Which is a bit surprising. Doing it on 24 villages is very, very ambitious. But he has just scouted the barracks from Jonk. Is he paying attention to that? And is he going to know that this, there's a bit of a some uh, aggression incoming? It's hard to know if he's paying attention to the scout or if the scout is on auto scout. And he's not paying attention. Regardless, Jock is going to need to get this. He's got five militia in here. He's got the Man at Arms queued. Out come the militia. Man at Arms is on its way. And it's going to be in 24 seconds, 23 seconds, 20 seconds. These guys are going to turn to Man at Arms and become a lot more deadly than what they currently are. He's going to see these berries. Oh, Quack Wobble's going for the fight. No, he's running away. This is already a lot of damage, a lot of idle time. And a great play by Jock. He's just got to make sure he doesn't run underneath this TC and, and get some free hits. Meanwhile, Quark Wobble, well, his fast castle's gone out the window. He doesn't have the food to go up anyway, and he's putting down his own barracks and counter. Maybe not the best move. I would have liked to see an archery range there to counter the man-at-arms. Um, it's not like he's going to be able to outproduce the goth player anyway, who gets it for extra cheap. I love this move. Maybe um, taking down that barracks uh, is a good idea. Quark Wobble only has 60 wood. He won't be able to afford another barracks if he takes that down. But then again, coming over here, getting some extra free video, uh, villager kills. A lot of pressure on the front. Fantastic army control from Jock so far. And this is where all the action is. Back at home, we're not really... Well, we are still making villages, but I think we might be housed very shortly if we're Jock. Meanwhile, these men at arms still doing a couple villager kills on the wood line. Very nice to see. These villagers going back out to berries just in the short amount of time while it's safe. With nice little walls around his town centre, trying to keep this gold mine safe. Man at arms almost break in. Yep, they do break in. Couple of hits here, and it's... Is he going to lead them back underneath the town centre? Maybe. No, we're going to lose a couple more villagers. How is Jock's army control? He's going to lose one man at arms. And two man at arms before he gets out of there. No more HP coming off this one. Is he going to make more? He does have two more get uh, coming in. And it's worth noting the Ethiopian player, he's also ticking into Man at Arms now, so he's going to have a little bit of counter army up, but this is a lot of damage. And just to give an idea of how much damage is happening, we currently have 
uh, 26 minutes of idle economy time for Quark Wobble right now. You can see it in the bottom right corner here. It's all adding up. Every single time a villager is idle, that's one second, and it adds up very quickly, where we only have about eight, eight minutes, nine minutes of idle time for Jock. And you can see the difference there. It's going to be huge. KD's not too bad here. Jock with eight villager kills so far. That's really impressive. Here we have an archery range coming up. This may maybe should have come up first to get a couple of archers out. And I like that Jock is going to focus this down. Oh, it got deleted. Trying to lead him underneath the town centre again, taking out a man at arms. Jock needs to get away, stop eating those TC fires, and he does. Only losing another two man at arms. Not too bad considering how much damage has been done. The score lead is a little bit um, mis misleading at the moment because I think Quark Wild actually has a lot of score uh, just from scouting because the scout is still out and you actually get a lot of, a lot of score from scouting. Coming over here, trying to deny this barracks. He researched man at arms, but he hasn't made any man at arms in defense yet. And he has so much gold and food to do so. I'm surprised he's let this go this far. It makes me wonder if he's still desperately trying to save for that um, castle, that fast castle he was trying to do at the start. To do that, he needs to get another build. Oh, he's got his market up, actually. He could just click up, but he needs to get the food. He just queued up some man-at-arms now. He's bit the bullet. He's saying, okay, I'll stay in feudal. We'll play on this game on your terms, Jonk. And we'll see how this goes. Lots of really good man-at-arms pressure coming in from Jonk. What is Quark Wobbles? Counter to this, he's going to repair this palisade now. Goth Man at Arms do plus two damage to buildings, so this is going to be not only draining a lot of wood from Quark Wobble, but also he does have what well, looks like three villages all repairing that one wall, so that will do the job. But again, idle economy going up. Jock on 35 villages. He's really doing a really good job of keeping this town centre busy. Continuously pumping up more and more villages. Plenty of farms here. And um, as soon as he needs to, he's already a good 10 villages ahead of Quark Wobble at this stage because of this pressure. Um, I don't think Quark Wobble's had uh, a chance to keep his TC not, not, not idle this entire time. He's at currently 5 minutes of idle time as well. That being said, Jock is at 4 minutes, so maybe they're both a bit distracted. Uh, his own man at arms have come out now. 6 plus 0, no one has their upgrades just yet, and you can see that in the top here as well. In fact, it's interesting, Quack Wobble spent the time getting Fletching and Padded Archer armor, uh, which is a really interesting choice since he now just invested so much food into Man at Arms, and all that food into Man at Arms has really hurt his Castle Age time a lot here. I think Jock will be up to Castle Age a lot sooner, especially of all this gold he's got on the bank. He could just buy some food and go up as soon as he needs to. I think he'll be... Yes, he's getting cleaned up here, but I think Jock will be quite happy with the amount of damage he's done at this stage of the game. He doesn't even need to make any more of these. He should just build a market and go up to Castle Age. And there's that market coming up right now along with that blacksmith, and that's exactly what's on his mind. He's done the damage. He's currently 38 villagers to 27 villagers, so a solid 10 villager lead. Now is the time just to sit back. You've gained your advantage. You're a piece ahead if you're playing chess, and now he can... Um, do what he can. He's still, even saying that, he's still made another seven men at arms here, and they're just going to clean up the last little part of the Quark Wobble army, and that's going to continue to do even more pressure and delay that castle age from Quark Wobble even longer. So, a fantastic play there. That's the power of the cheap goth men at arms really coming to play here. I'm surprised the Ethiopian player hasn't done archers. He is making some archers. These are far too late now. They should have come out right at the beginning as soon as the first militia were hitting. This shouldn't have been a barracks. It should have been an archery range. So for those who don't know, Ethiopian archers shoot 25% faster. That's the gimmick. That's the idea. And we'll see how well. Usually a very good sieve to have on um, Arabia actually. I think Quark Wobble's done his research here. And, and Goff is maybe not actually a very... Uh, well chosen pick. Over in the far corner we have the scout from Quark Wobble just chilling out. I think he's thinking about retirement. I think he's done. I don't think he's excited about the uh, bloodshed to come. Jonk bought... he got that market but he hasn't used any of the gold just to buy him his way up to Castle Age. He's just making villages and I'm a little bit surprised by that. He does have time on his side. It's going to take a long time between Qu before Quark Wobble has enough food uh, to go up himself. And I suppose he is continuously making man at arms out of this barracks. So maybe his idea is let's keep this in feudal age a little bit, a little bit longer. It's working out for me. I'll just keep making man at arms. Try not to go underneath the town centre too much, and uh, maybe 
There's a watchtower on the wood line and the gold over here for Quark Wible. He is desperate to keep these man at arms out, and this is horrible because what's going to happen is these man at arms are not only going to kill a vi villager here, but they're just going to go underneath this tower and batter it down. The tower cannot shoot directly below it. This tower needs to maybe put, be put inside the wood line or surrounded by its own walls and so that's just not going to work and you can see that plus two against buildings for the goth infantry already doing work that tower is going to do nothing at all wasting 125 stone another fantastic play from jock but out the archers pop and will there be enough archers to clear these men at arms i think there will be fletching's already in so they're doing a lot of damage and that will you can see how effective that was. That should have been the first army. That should have happened at the start of the game. And finally, Quarkwobble has some breathing room to see if he can get to Castle Age and try to turn this game around. It's currently a race to Castle Age, I think. And weirdly enough, Quarkwobble's actually closer. He's almost at 800 food already, uh, mainly because he hasn't been spending food on infantry, much like Jock has, who is, oh my goodness, he's gone for another so many, so many, what is that, another 15 men at arms, Quark Wobble just bought 100 food for 130 gold, and he's going up, he's used the market, that's exactly what Jock needs to do, he has so much gold in his bank, it's 1600 gold, he should have been up to Castle Age a long time ago, but he's just waiting for all these farmers to make that happen for him, he's currently at 75 vils, am I, re oh no, 50 vils, 50 vils, 75 population, 50 villagers versus 30 villagers. He's turned that 10 villager lead into a 20 villager lead, and that is huge at this stage of the game. Even if we do get Castle Age from Quark Wobble, it's going to be very unlikely that he can put down two town centers and continue to boom his way through this game and catch up in villager numbers to make it late game competitive. More man at arms coming in. He's on halfway to Castle Age. I bet he's hoping to get the crossbow, and he's come back for a counter-attack, which is really good to see. Jock's put up two barracks, maybe thinking knights and castle age, but this is a really good move from Quark Wobble. He needs to take out at least 20 villagers to get back into this game, and this is exactly how he's going to do it. It looks like Jock has seen it. He's putting up a defensive castle in defense. Um, good to put up a defensive castle against archers, but these archers do have fletching. They're going to be doing a lot of damage, and they need a lot more villagers building this tower. He's going to abandon that tower, put another tower down here. I do like these towers. They cover the, the gold and the wood line. But this is going to be a lot of lost. And meanwhile, these uh, man-at-arms also need to be microed. Hopefully Jock isn't not paying attention to those. We have a little bit of micro from Quark Wobble, But while he's microing those archers, these archers are getting cleaned up. A couple of scouts popping out from Jock. And this is the wrong time to lose your scouts. He just got to Castle Age. They could be turned into a uh, crossbowman, and they'll be doing a lot more damage than what they are right now. All Jock has to do is garrison in these towers and his town center, and these archers are gone for. Meanwhile, his man at arms still running amok inside the base of Quark Quibble, getting villager picks where they can. The town, uh, these, these villagers are just, they're not being put inside the town center, that's for sure. There is enough archers, however, to clean up the last of Jock's army, but he's making more man at arms, really getting value out of this back vill in this very close to reinforce uh, barracks. It's coming really, really handy this game. All right, he's up to Castle Age, Quark Wobble. Jock also on his way to Castle Age. Finally, a minute and 40 seconds left. He's ticking straight into bloodlines and forging. I think we're looking at a knight play from the goth player, which is definitely something unexpected. I think Jock has recognized that the Ethiopian player wants to go for crossbowmen and archers. And so he's thinking, well, I'll put a guy on a horse of a sword and we'll see how fast he gets to those crossbowmen. There's the crossbowmen tech coming in now. And if I was quite probable, I'd actually be walking those all the way over to Jock's base right now. Try and get some extra harass on these uh, vulnerable villagers out by these farms. And maybe even scouting this uh, wood line and this. And keeping away from the towers, obviously. Although you could get one or two crossbowmen. Just put them here. And they'll just pick away at the villagers and not be attacked by the tower themselves. Really good harass. Scouts at the riddle, ready by Jonk. Just in case he sees more archers. A little bit nervous, I think, Quack Wobble. And it, maybe he saw this coming back. Jock looking for more villagers on the red wood line. But I, don't, I think he's killed all the villagers on this wood line several times already. I think Quack Wobble's wizened up. He's not going to put them there anymore. Coming in, trying to find this villager on the berries. Oh, the gold, sorry. He will find her. But there's too many crossbows here. And these are just feudal age man at arms. They're going to go down awfully fast. Jonk finally to the castle age. And we'll find out what he's building. He's putting 
TC. He snuck a villager all the way over to this side of the map. We've got another. Mo we've got a monastery to pick up this relic. We've got a town center. We've got another villager on this side of the map. Another town center. We've got another villager on this side of the map. Another town center. And we even have a castle with that single villager. And I honestly don't think that this castle is going to go up. This villager is going to be mowed down by those arrows and that is a sad sight to see because I think she did so well. That's going to be deleted so that Jock gets the resources back for the castle. And Long Swordsman Tech coming in for Jock, followed shortly by Squires. And are we going to see Knights? No, we're just going to opt for Light Cavalry I think. Jonk thinks I have lots of food, I'm going to keep my gold, it's a 1v1, I don't want to be caught out with lack of gold in the late game, I'm just going to make scouts, which he thinks will handle these crossbowmen quite well, and as I say that, a couple of long swords just pop out at exactly the right moment, and they try to get as many crossbowmen kills as possible, but Quark Bubble showing his Starcraft micro skills there, and making sure he loses as little crossbowmen as possible, meanwhile, the scout cavalry moving out against Quark Wobble, they're going straight for maybe the army. I would like to see these just hop straight onto this gold line or into the, even into the uh, into the wood line, but instead we have a cavalry charge against these crossbowmen. Light Cav comes in just as they hit, a perfect upgrade timing for Jonk, and I think with that Light Cav upgrade, these are going to get cleaned up. He already has the first armor upgrade for the Light Cav. A brilliant engagement by Jock. Just trying to take the hill, Quark Wobble, doing the best he can, trying to micro that down, but completely out uh you know out out speed those, those are just too fast those 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 guys on horses of swords look at them go and now we might be starting to see the beginning of the end there's no real military presence on the field for quark wobble he's desperately trying to produce crossbowmen as fast as possible out of these archery ranges but i think the early aggression has just been a little bit too much from Jonk, and he's really consolidating that lead with all these town centers i'm sure that all of these town centers yes all producing bills, keeping those town centers nice and busy. Maybe not that one. Don't look, people. Don't look. Um, and this is where I wanted to see those cavalry earlier. But to be honest, they got there in the end. And that's just too many. Quark Wobble calls the GG. What a fantastic performance by Jonk. Really early pressure. Straight in with the feudal man-at-arms. Really hard for Quark Wobble to recover from that. He made the wrong tech switch into man-at-arms at the start of the game. And he didn't get into the uh, archers fast enough to deal with that early pressure. And then, of course, following up just with a cheeky bit of light cav. He didn't even really need to do this. Uh, he, he could have sat back and, and just boomed his way to the late game and, and, and won very comfortably. But this is just uh, making sure that he keeps his enemy uh, on his toes, if you will. So a fantastic game. And congrats to both players. So now how this works is Carlos Quark Wobble is going to be absorbed into the huddle of Jock. And we will see both of these players in round two, which will be a different game type, a different mode. And they'll be working together rather than enemies in the next match. Other than that, I've been your host, Michael Michael. I hope you've enjoyed the first game of the huddle. Very competitive, very, very good to see. And I look forward to seeing you at the next one. Have a lovely night.